Well, experts say kids across the country are falling short on math skills. So now there's a new campaign to help students catch up. In fact, new state data shows 34% of kids met or exceeded standards for math in California. So Laura Overdeck, she is the founder and president of Bedtime Math, and she's here to explain how to improve math literacy. First off, I wanted to say good morning to you, Laura. Good morning. Thanks for having me. For sure. Thanks for being with us. So the pandemic put kids behind and experts say the average K through 12 student is about half a grade level behind on math skills. So just explain the impact on these age groups. Yes, yeah, so as you say, nationwide, this is a problem that kids are behind by many months, which is a big gap. But the real problem is that when you survey parents, most parents think their kids are on track. So there's a giant awareness gap there. And so be part of the equation is all about helping parents figure out for themselves where their child is and then what to do about it. Yeah, you know, and studies show huge declines in math skills for kids of color. So talk about the inequities and what adults and parents can do to help. Yeah, that is a real problem and that's decades in the making. I know at least going back to, I think, 2012, the top 10 or 20% of students in the country have stayed completely consistent, including through the pandemic. Everybody else has slid and it's just time to have the will to fix this. Um, we have a lot of issues around <laughs> You know, it's painful when kids are failing, but we've really got to fall forward, measure kids, assess them, make those data available, and then decide what to do. Um, one thing I like to point out is when you take your kid to the pediatrician, you want to know everything about what their health is. You want to diagnose and heal, and we have to start thinking about math health the same way. Interesting. And, and it's been a while since parents and caregivers have been in school. So what if adults are just not really feeling confident? How can they engage kids with their math education? Well, you've really hit the nail on the head. We have a lot of adults who are not comfortable um, with essentially fourth grade math. I mean, you can tell because restaurants now calculate the tip for us, and that is a fourth grade math skill. But what I like to point out and what we say on this website is we've all graduated from elementary school. We can all do this. It is truly a mental block, not a lack of ability to do it. So what our Be Part of the Equation website does is it enables even the most math uncomfortable parent to jump in and essentially do math with their kids, talk about math, finally figure out what's going on with the homework. It's, it's all doable. Yeah, and Laura, last question for you. How can families keep track of their kids' progress in math? What do they need to be looking out for? Well, we give 10 second math checkups where they can do it themselves. It's fun questions they can weave into conversation to see whether their kids can think on their feet. And then beyond that though, we explain how do you talk to your teacher? What are the right questions to ask? And really, maybe you need to challenge your school on how they're doing things. And we give a roadmap for that as well. Because it really is at crisis point right now. Yeah, this is all so helpful. So where can parents and caregivers go to get more information about this? You can go to bepartoftheequation.org, all one word, and everything is right there, um, really to show parents and kids that this, this is fixable. All right, Laura Overdeck, thank you so much for being with us this morning. This is really, again, just such helpful information and something to think about that yeah. a lot of parents may not be considering. We're in the, the craze of back to school, but this is really important to think about.